people can do a piece of work in 40 days and if 20 people work together in how many days they can finish the work now do that manipulation by using chain rule 10 into 40 equal to 20 into x so 20 days is the answer A alone can finish a work in 25 days and at the same time A is 50% more efficient than B. For example, there are total 70 file addos. It's just my assumption only. Whatever the value you consider here, you will get the same answer. If there are total 70 file addos, A can finish 75 in 25 days means per day it can finish 333 3, 3 addos and this is 50% more than the value of B. So if it is X. 3 is 50% more than this. So 1.5 of x equal to 3, x equal to 2. If you don't know how to write this, please watch my video on the shortcuts of percentages. So x equal to 2, I can replace this x with 2 directly. So it means b can finish 2, 2, 2 ladus per day. So b can finish 2 ladus per day, a can finish 3 ladus per day. Together they can finish 5, 5 ladus per day and the total 75 ladus, 5, 5, 5 a day, they can finish in 15 days. A, B, C can finish a work in 10, 12, 15 days respectively. So total LCM of 10, 12, 15 is 60. So just consider that there are total 60 ladders and A can, can finish 60 ladders in 10 days means per day it can finish uh, 6, 6 ladders. B can finish 5, 5 ladders. C can finish 15, 4 are 64 ladders together per day. So now they are working together. So together they can finish 15 ladders per day. But they started together and after two days A left. So before A left, they already worked for two days and they finished with total 30 ladders. Out of 60s, 30 were over together and next A left. The remaining work has to done by B and C only. And they also worked for two days only. So in two days, they together 5 plus 4, 9, 9, 9 and they worked together for two days. They finished 18 ladders. So out of 60 minus 30, they remain with 30. Out of these 30, B and C together finished 18 ladders. Now, remaining 12 ladders has to finish by B alone as C left after 2 days. But B's capacity is 5 ladders per day and it work dash many days to finish 12 ladders. It works for 2. So, 2, 2 by 5 days. B alone worked for 2, 2 by 5 days. A, B, C together worked for 2 days, B and C together worked for 2 days. So total 2 plus 2 plus 2, 2 by 5, 6, 2 by 5 days they worked to finish the total work. Here there are total 3 shifts in a factory A, B, C and their capacities are 80%, 70% and 50%. So I consider that team A can finish 8 ladders per day. So B obviously they should finish 7 ladders per day and C 5 ladders per day. Now with these ratio or with these capacities, team A, if team A works alone, they can finish the total work in 60 days itself. Means total how many ladders are there? 60 into 8, 480 ladders are there. So here total overall we have 480 ladders. Now these 480 ladders has to finish by A, B, C together. A, B, C together can finish 20 ladders per day and total 480 ladders they can finish in 21 days itself. Sorry, it's 20 four days i'm so sorry it's total 24 days two twos two fours right so a alone has to finish in 60 days but together they are finishing in 24 days means they are saving total 36 days so in 36 days lesser they'll finish the work sakshi can do a piece of work in 20 days and Tanya is 25% more efficient than Sakshi. Then in how many days Tanya alone can finish the work? Here just assume that there are 200, sorry, 
thousand ladders overall see uh, how will you know that we should consider only 2000 ladders just by practice you can find out here the 2000 ladders sakshi can finish in 20 days means per day she can finish 2000 by 20 she can finish 100 100 100 ladders as tanya is 25 percent more efficient than uh, sakshi she can finish 125 ladders tanya can finish 125 ladders per day and total 2000 ladders she can finish in 16 days so here guys these 2000 should be a multiple of or else a, an lcm of 100 and 125 you can consider direct 100 and 125 is uh, 20 into 200 also you can consider else you know lcm of 100 and 125 should be there uh, in Ladu's place or else it should be a common multiple of 100 and 125 suddenly I got a common multiple of 100 and 125 as 2000 and here you can find out their LCM also 25 fours 25 fives into 4 um, you can consider 80 also for example if you consider 80 Ladu's Tanya can finish 4 Ladu's per day and she is 25% more efficient so 1.25 into 4 that equal to 5 5 ladders per day 80 by 5 equal to same 16 only now this question can be solved in more simpler way if you know the concept if 25% is increasing in reverse it will be 20% only decreased here Tanya has 25% more efficient Tanya has 25 percent more efficiency than sakshi and in return it should be only 20 percent lesser than the total amount what is 20 percent lesser 16 same answer nandini can finish one third of work in five days and bharat can finish two fifth of the work in 10 days so total work finished by nandini is 15 days and it is 5 into 10 by 2 25 days by Bharat so Nandini can finish in 15 days and Bharat can finish in 25 days if they work together in how many days they can finish the work so what is LCM of 15 and 25 it's obviously 75 yes 75 75 by 15 5 5 ladders per day and 3 together they can finish 8 8 ladders per day so 75 by 8 is the answer So answer is 9, 3 by 8 days. 9, 3 by 8 days is the answer. 8 takes twice as much time as B takes and thrice as much, as much time as C takes. So for example, if A can finish a work in X days, B takes only half of the work, half of the time and C takes only one third of the time. So just imagine that there is only one Ladu. A can finish 1 by X per day. B can finish 1 by X by 2 means 2 by X per day. Similarly C 3 by X per day. And together they can finish 3 plus 6 by X per day. Reverse total 1 by 6 by X per day and they can finish in X by 6 days but this is equal to 2 according to the question so X by 6 equal to 2 so X equal to 12 from this if X equal to 12 B can finish in 12 by 2 that equal to 6 days itself so B can finish the work in 6 days 20 women can finish a work in 16 days and 16 men can complete the same work in 15 days. So one woman can finish the work in 16 into 20 days. Similarly, one man can complete the same work in 15 into 16 days. So one woman can finish in 16 into 20 days and one man in 15 into 16 means their efficiencies are inversely in proportion. So their efficiency ratio, efficiency of women, efficiency of men should be inversely proportion of their work. So the ratio of women and ratio of men efficiencies are reverse 15 into 16 inversely 16 into 20 16 16 gets cancelled so 3 5 threes, 5 fours and the ratio is 3 is to 4 
So guys, hope you got a clear idea on how to solve the average problems, the you know a bit difficult problems from time and work. And if you want to know how to solve difficult problems from time and work, please continue the watching to the fourth video in this playlist. That is part three of time and work. All the best. Don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends.